Hi everybody! So today I wanted to talk to you about annoying baby stuff. How can I reword that? Annoying things about baby stuff? No. Annoying things about baby stuff. You guys will get it when I get into it. First of all, baby's clothes. Like, people that make baby clothes, do they have babies? Do they know what sizes babies are? It doesn't make sense to me that you buy, let, let's call it brand G. Are like all your babies super tiny? Because whenever I separated my baby's clothes, I separated by from size 0 to 3, from 3 to 6, from 6 to 9. When I got to that brand, it was like, why is everything not fitting anymore? Is she only wear like maybe two, once? Like what's up with baby clothes? Do you guys know what I'm talking about? And then also the $3 onesies. How, how is the baby so short and so fat? Like who has a baby that's like super tiny and fat? Have you seen those uh, onesies? The ones that are, that I'm talking about. But what's up with that? <laughs> And then you have to be buying bigger clothes because from that type of brand, by the time that they get there, like me from six to nine, it didn't fit anymore. So I felt so bad having to put it in the used clothes or uh, just give it in a way. Baby's toys. Might as well just give them a box. You go to the store, you see all these babies toys that you're like oh my god my baby's gonna love this oh my god look at the little it's gonna make noise and and when you come home you spend thirty dollars on two three toys and then you come home and your baby just looks at it for a few minutes and it's like Meh. so then you have like a big box full of toys that your baby's never gonna play with because they're too small they don't know they don't know what's going on they don't know how they're supposed to play with toys you know spending a lot of money on things that they're not gonna use <sighs> baby companies make a lot of money from us I'm not gonna lie there's just a couple of toys that she does love and I'm gonna make a separate video out of that but what's up what's, what's up with all that and then your baby's like I'm gonna play but I'm gonna play with everything except my toys <laughs> i'm gonna go play with mommy's shoes the tv control or mommy's cell phone or i'm just gonna play with the laundry basket for like three hours because the laundry basket is the freaking awesomest thing in the world which toy are they gonna pick the laundry basket or the 40 dollar toy that you spent 40 dollars on <laughs> anyways another thing that annoys me about baby stuff socks am i like the only one that has trouble with baby socks like for reals is they make sizes 0 to 12 and they don't even fit you go and buy socks by the sizes right everybody goes and buys stuff for the baby on sizes and it's a 0 to 12 but it actually is from like 0 to 3 and you keep buying and buying and buying these 0 or 6 to 12 and they don't fit anymore. So right now I've been struggling so much to find a size that actually fits her. And then I'm spending all these money. It's just, I have socks and socks that don't fit her. And I feel so bad because even though it's not so expensive, you're wasting all that money. And Or maybe my baby has like super giant feet that she doesn't fit on the 12 month old socks am i the only one guys comment below am i the only one that suffers through this and then you go to the store and you're like you know what i'm not gonna buy this size 0 to 12 because i know it doesn't fit her so you go and buy the socks that say size 12 right because you think oh maybe these are bigger than the 0 to 12 or the 6 to 12 they're the same freaking size socks it's just companies trying to make you <laughs> buy more socks <laughs> that are the same size. And then when you're like, you finally decide, okay, I'm not going to buy any more 12, uh, size 12. My baby's nine months. 
So I'm buying socks that should fit bigger, right? So I'm like, okay, I'm done. No more size 12. I'm going to go for the size 18. But it's like Bigfoot. You can never find that size in any store. I could not find size 18 anywhere. It's impossible. It's like they do it on purpose. <laughs> so you keep buying the size 12 that don't fit. So you'll give up, right? You order them online. Maybe there's a little bit of hope that they're gonna fit. And then they get here, get excited because you wanna go see the new socks that are probably gonna fit and they're so ugly. And that's it. So thank you so much for watching guys. If you like this video, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching.